been working in my blah blah sketchbook again here. This one's the one I made with um, the what is this art again papers? I made it so long ago. I think I actually still have um, a copy of this in my shop. If you like toned papers, these ones are pretty good. I struggle a little bit with the toned papers because I don't, I can't kept, capture that contrast that I really like easily. Uh, so you would want to use lots of like white pencils and stuff, lots of highlights would do, like everything's very low contrast, which is whatever. And you know, I always put my random loose things in my sketchbooks. I just moved into the gray area. I mostly just use sketchbooks for thumbnailing. Testing art supplies, color schemes, blah blah blah. Here's a Patreon thing. It smells funny. Dreams. I draw dreams and stuff. Things like that. Um, so yesterday was Sunday. Second day back at the flea. Another zero dollar day. Well, someone bought a two dollar um, charm thing, but that was about it. Actually, like, they, it was more visited than the snowy day but not very many people were coming in our area which was interesting but I have to say that yesterday really felt like a smooth socialization day like I feel like every social encounter I had yesterday was just snappy and quick and perfect <laughs> I mean I'm not particularly great at conversation because I like to listen to people's stories and I don't particularly like asking specific questions i i guess like i have a really passive conversation style where i'm happy to answer questions i'm happy to offer random information but i'm not really good at coaxing other people to fill in the gaps <laughs> so it's always awkward but i met people and i'm trying really hard to remember everyone's names because people keep getting moved around and I'm really enjoying that aspect of it. So I'm thinking of taking my sketchbook to my other sketchbooks, like these ones there, so I can start drawing people that I <laughs> that I uh, see so that I can actually be better at remembering names. I just, I wanna feel like I'm meeting actual people. Like it's different like when you're at a table and people walk by and they talk, you know, they tell you that they like your stuff and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's kind of like meeting people and talking to people, but at the same time, like, if you don't know each other and can't, like, recognize each other the second time you meet, like, I'm not sure if that's really adequately the definition of meeting people. <laughs> so, I think yesterday was freaking great. It is disheartening when, like, the person next to me um, sold $80 worth of household, like, used random items, like little glass vases or... Um, maybe old CDs or something. Eighty dollars, and I don't know like how you do it. I just don't know how the people do it. And a lot of it is just like my stuff. Yeah, my stuff isn't used, you know, discount stuff, which is what people are there for. It is disheartening, especially when people who walk by really like like the things that I'm doing. <laughs> so it is kind of weird. But at the same time, like you know, after all the costs of the table and stuff like that. Even the people who are selling $80 worth of stuff is probably not really coming away from that much money anyway. So there's no reason for me to be like jealous or anything. Because that's, again, like I'm switching it up. It's not really no longer like what I'm there for. I'm supposed to be working on videos because tomorrow I'm going to attempt number two <laughs> to go to my friend's house who lives somewhat far away in a city sense. Like, it's an hour drive if I was driving, but I'm not, so it's going to take, like, three hours by bus to get there. So, I'm really looking forward to that, and that means I need to have all my videos done and ready to go for the week. Because Tuesdays and Wednesdays are big, like, YouTube days for me, so. This is quite the process. I'm, like, <laughs> Monday afternoon, I have the vlog to edit and post and then I have the video to edit the post because I'm not going to be home for Tuesday, Wednesday. I like did the vlog and then I uploaded it and then as it's uploading it I edited this video and then as this video is rendering I went back and finished 
the details in the upload screen and then after that it was finished processing and then I had to fix the subtitles because the automatic subtitles suck and then I start again by doing the same thing with this and it's quite like it's been hours I can't believe how long this takes I don't know how the heck I was doing this working full time <laughs> I really don't <laughs> I gotta say like doing this full time uh, hasn't really accomplished literally much of anything for me, but, um, yeah, I don't know how the heck I was doing, like, so much stuff. I guess it goes to show that our belief that if we just had more time, we would, like, actually accomplish something, it's not really that true. Like, I have so much time now, and I'm literally exactly where I was a year ago, I think. I have to do a Patreon video after this, <laughs> so, I have to at least film it. I really want it to be up this week, too. I also just really love watching this alcohol ink stuff. It actually looked really nice before I painted over it. Eh? I'm working on this slow video for Patreon. And I just kind of did something out of the whim of my imagination. I don't think it's done yet, but it's getting dark, so I'm going to stop. I just realized that tomorrow I'm going to go to my friend's house. And I'm planning to bring all of my stuff with me so that I can work on certain things. I'm also helping her with a technological issue, <laughs> which is hilarious considering what I'm about to say. But like, so I'm planning to bring my laptop and my tablet that is now apparently working, I hope, uh, so that I can work on a digital art thing. But if I also get stuff to do for a current dog commission, I'm going to be probably doing sketches and photos of that. And so like, I just realized that normally I do all this stuff on my own and now tomorrow somebody is going to witness me do the things that I do. So like, not only am I like, I think I'm the last millennial that actually really does carry this camera, my phone, and an mp3 player in my pocket, which is like a really common trope for like 90s kids and look at these crazy people who carried all this shit in their pocket. And I still do that because my phone is terrible. And it doesn't even have space for the programs I need, let alone music. So there's no music on it. So I will be on the bus and I will be checking my phone, but also switching around on my iPod. <laughs> Which must look kind of ridiculous. And then someone will see me take a picture of something at the same time. So it's just like, I feel like a stereotype or like a really... <laughs> outdated person. I've always been behind on technology because I don't I don't really invest in it that much and so tomorrow she's gonna see me draw stuff for the commission probably and then take out my camera take photos of it take the memory card out put the memory card in there edit the photos so that they are smaller <laughs> and then email those photos and it's gonna be a lot and it's gonna be kind of embarrassing I mean if it was a stranger it'd be more embarrassing but like I just think that's really funny. Like, you don't really think about the silly inconveniences you set up for yourself until you do it in public. Need it. done until you give up. <laughs> X, X, X. No. And... Oh, <laughs> oh, right on the... <laughs> nice. I'm a fucking professional. The nerds. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Desk is a bit of a nightmare right now. Um, I just came back from my friend's house, well, yesterday, <laughs> and uh, she gave me a couple of things. 
First she gave me some clothes. This is the nice sweater I'm wearing. I'm very happy because I don't have any long sleeve shirts. <laughs> um, I'm gonna figure out what to do with something like this. Um, it says traditional Japanese paper. It feels a lot like the calligraphy paper that I got from Daiso, but it's thicker. I'm really curious to know why it's always folded. Maybe it's for, probably for letter writing or something, but I kind of, I really like this pocket. It feels neat. It feels cool. Ugh. So like, it's, yeah, I think it's meant for writing on. Um, I just was playing with watercolors. It absorbs water in not very much color, so it's not particularly good for painting. This was the other paper I was, I got before to try with the, what was that thing I was doing with the wax? What is that called again? I already forgot. It's very similar to this, but this feels a bit thinner and it's smooth on one side. Um, and I, I've been kind of using it sometimes for tracing paper when I want to trace something. I'm really tempted, like, I really want to make a book with this just because it feels really nice. <laughs> and make a nice journal or something, but I don't know yet. Um, there's just, like, there's a lot of small things that I've been wanting to do and I just never get to it because of my own, like, self-imposed Patreon and YouTube schedule. And I know that I should probably really be getting into finding like a part-time job just so I can feel like I'm earning my own money so that I can like buy things <laughs> that I need. Watercolor study that I was doing for Patreon, I was just experimenting with glazing with watercolor. We've been doing a lot of water themed things. I'm trying to make this weird like 3D-ish pop-up card without actually really knowing what I'm doing. I know we always have this like traditional style, you know, cut some thingies and then stick stuff onto it. Um, but I'm not really familiar with this like multiple bending thing. I mean, as long as it closes and stuff. Okay. And then I had to tape down parts that I shouldn't have cut out. <laughs> so. Some whole tab fishes. And then I also wanted to try this. 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 I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm just screwing around. <laughs> my cardboard prototype here. Here it is. My first try. It's a bit rough. I really like I really fudged it up over here, but I fixed it when I added the back in. Oh, fish. Oh, he swims back and forth. And this guy spins. Oops. I have to fix that. That won't stop, stay down because I use this uh, board that sometimes it peels apart and it's really annoying. So I have to fix that. But yeah, good effort. <laughs> Holy cow, it's windy and stormy outside suddenly. It's so dark, so cloudy. So sudden. What is happening? We don't get weather. <laughs> yes. Yeah.